Hi, I'm Deshay Peacock. I'm an author and live stylist, and I just wrote my first book. It's called Create the Style You Crave on a Budget You Can Afford. A few years ago, I was trying to figure out um, how to combine all of my interests. I'm a multi-passionate person, so I have lots of interests, and um, I dabbled in many different things. And um, I got the idea to start a TV show. So I came onto BCTV, local TV station, um, that I'm on right now. And um, I decided to find people in town that I could interview about their sweet spot. And the sweet spot for me was self-defined success. So the only criteria I had were that the people were doing something creative and that they were doing something they love. And so if they felt like they were in their sweet spot doing those things, then to me, that was their sweet spot. And so the first person I interviewed was author Suzanne Kingsbury, who lives in town. And it's really funny because um, we didn't know each other, and this is a pretty small town, Brattleboro, Vermont. And we met, I interviewed her for the first time, and we just hit it off, and we became really good friends. And so the irony of it is that she's an author, and I was interviewing her because I was inspired by her work. And at the end of the interview, she said, you know, this is great, you should really, I'm gonna connect you with, with an agent and maybe she can help you with your show. And so a few months later I met with uh, Dee Dee Cummings who is an agent in town and she was helping me with my show but she's also a literary agent and she said, you know, you really should write a book, you should write a book on style. And my eyes just lit up and I thought, oh, that would be really fun too. And so it happened that um, it worked out, she got me a deal in New York and um, I signed with Skyhorse Press and they're the biggest, well, they're the fastest growing indie publisher um, right now. So yeah, that's how it all came to be that I interviewed an author and I became an author. <laughs> From the time that D.D. Cummings said you should write a book on style until the time that it actually became a physical book, a lot happened. Um, and being a multi-passionate person, I wanted to put everything into the book. So I wanted to talk about personal style and I wanted to talk about home decor. And I really, the essence of the message was I wanted to talk about creative expression and how by creatively expressing yourself, you're sending out a message to the world um, and that message is reflected back on you. And so it's really important. I think the main theme of the book is that um, you should, we should all be conscious of that because it really can affect your life. Um, by the way that you present yourself. I wanted to include the word budget because I think that people often have this idea of, you know, home decor, interior design, money. I don't have that, you know? And so I wanted to be, this book to be accessible to everyone. I think often there's two limitations when we're talking about home decor and it's time or money. And so in the book, I've talked about each one. So you kind of need to have one. You either need to have time or you need to have some a little bit of money, right? Because if you're gonna shop at all these places um, where it's free or very low cost, chances are that you're gonna have to search for that. And that takes time to search for that. You don't always go in and say, oh, I found my home living room set here at the dump today. No, you might find like a cute chair that needs work and that takes time, right? So. Um, time or money. Maybe you don't have a lot of time. Maybe you work full time and have three kids and you're like, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to be shopping um, every Saturday and on the weekends to, to create this space. But you have a budget. You have a little bit of extra cash flow. So then I talk about places that you can shop without going to just one big box store and buying a whole set of furniture because that really, what does that say about you and your creative style? It really says nothing, right? And so it's all about how can you create this space that really reflects who you are and what you want in life so you can get more of that, regardless of your budget. I really think that we create our own reality and every choice that we make um, makes who we are and what we're surrounded with. And so if you're unhappy with that, really I wanna encourage people to take the power back. You have the power to create your own reality. You have the power to create your own space and you have the power to decide what you put on in the morning, right? You don't, And you don't have to use the excuse of I don't have money for it. And so, you know, I'd also encourage people to think about what makes you happy. Hopefully this book will inspire you to figure out what your own style is because I'm not gonna tell you what your style is, but I've interviewed 17 people in the book and they're all defined um, as living in their sweet spot in their home. 
Within the 17 stories, there are people scattered all across the United States and many different styles of homes. And there's six people that are featured that live in Vermont. And one is Robin MacArthur, who lives in Marlboro, Vermont. One is Juliet Keeming, who lives in Demerston, Vermont. Um, Susie Belici, who lives two streets away from me on Home Street in Brattleboro. Daniel Corngooth, who, who had a beautiful farmhouse and it actually burned down. And so I'm really happy that we were able to, to capture his home because he put so much love and energy into it. And so I'm glad that we captured it because it's gone now. And Suzanne Kingsbury. Suzanne Kingsbury, the first person that I interviewed on BCTV, she's also in the book. So if you need inspiration with trying to figure out your own style, um, there's 17 different stories for you to get inspiration. Uh, I've been asked, you know, is this book a how-to book? Is this book a guide? Is this going to teach me um, how to create my own style? And yes, it is a how-to guide, but more than that, I think that inspiration is stronger than a, a list of how-tos. And so um, I think inspiration goes farther. And so that's why I wanted to include these stories because I do believe they inspire me. And so I really wanted to make the stories very personal. And so I asked people to share about their, you know, who they are, what kind of work they do, if they have children, um, and all those personal questions so that you really get an idea of who that person is. And Elle James is a local photographer and I'm so pleased and honored that she was able to help me with the the local contributors section. She took all the pictures for that. There's another unique chapter in the book and it's on manifesting your dream home. And I use a personal example of how I had an intention and I used my intention to create the home that I always wanted growing up as a child. So there's a chapter on that. So for people who might be watching and say, oh, that's nice, like all these people live in their dream home, but I'm never gonna have that. I didn't grow up that way. I didn't grow up in a big, beautiful house. Um, I wanted it and I created it and you can too. So yeah, that's my message.